In this session, we are going to look into graphics. Graphics using blue sky statistics. Now let's go to this graphics menu here. And we've got different options to choose from. We've got bar charts, we've got histogram, we've got QQPP plots, scatter plots, and a number of different options. Let's say I'm interested in bar charts. Just the count of the respondents. So let's click bar chart counts. Here are the options. You can choose your y variable, which should be scaled or numeric variable. You can choose your x variable, which should be factor or categorical variable. You can fill each of your bars with a factor or categorical variable. Now let's say I'm interested in just country. Just to know the respondent or distribution in each country. You can select options and you can give it a title, y-axis label, x-axis label and you can give bars different colors. Press OK. And let's press OK. Let's do a very simple bar chart. Now here is a frequency distribution by country. You can see that the most number of respondents are coming from Pakistan, followed by China, then Italy. Over 300 respondents are coming from Pakistan. Now there are just slightly less than 200 our respondents are coming from Italy. And over uh, around 300 are also coming from China. Now let's do the same bar chart counts again bar chart counts now let's say uh, I put in CSR the first item in the CSR scale I press OK now if you look in here so in case of CSR 1 Pakistan the overall score is higher in case of Pakistan followed by China and then Italy the problem here is this 1750 this does not actually or uh, precisely depict uh, in, in terms of the mean score that we are actually interested in so what we should do is rather than going for bar chart counts we should go for bar chart means because we are interested in the mean score for a particular construct or a particular item so let's go bar chart means Let's say my Y variable is CSR and I want CSR score divided by country. So let's select country and put it in as your X variable. You can group it by uh, different variables or categorical variable. In this case, let's say we, we've got country as our factor or categorical variable and we are not grouping it. We can have error bars, a number of different ones to choose from. Again, there are options. Just press OK. And now it is more meaningful rather than this number here, which does not depict anything, just the sum of responses. In here, we've got the mean score. So, so in China, there's high mean score for perception of CSR, followed by Italy, and the least uh, is in Pakistan. So we can say that uh, perception of CSR in Pakistan is not that good. Now let's move to another graphic let's say we are interested in histogram and we've got our x variable as let's say again satisfaction score by the respondents again there are options to choose from and bin width we'll discuss this in a moment and just press ok so overall we can see that this is uh, and actually yes uh, it's important to know that histogram is for continuous variables whereas bar chart is for nominal or ordinal categorical variables in this case we can see that overall the satisfaction score is good enough there is a high tendency uh, that people are satisfied uh, with the services uh, provided although it is positively skewed now uh, we can see from the histogram that it is not normally distributed now let's look what the bin width actually means. Again, go to graphics, histogram. So your variable is already there. Let's change the bin width to 3. Now bin width actually means classes. So, okay. Now look at this. It is not actually very clear what it means because there is a very high bin width. So the 
division of classes is significantly high. This is actually very meaningful in comparison to this. Let's change the bin width a bit. Go to histogram and let's change it to 1. And now here it is. Much more meaningful and we can say that satisfaction score ranges from 3.5 to 4.5 for the respondents. So this is how you can use histogram or bar charts using blue sky statistics. Now let's say we are interested in box plot. And I'm interested in box plot for let's say CSR, which is my scale or numeric variable. Again, there are options to choose from. Let's say just press OK. And we can see here that there are two outliers just below the mean score for of two. Now let's go back again. Go to box plot and see you can increase the opacity and show outliers in red just to make them more prominent. Just press OK and here are your two outliers. Now this is how you can use graphics. There are a number of them. Just play with them. See uh, different options are available and you can use them. I hope this video would have helped you understand how to use graphics in Blue Sky Statistics.